What's up guys, it's ChaiSD and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best free to play research gear. So let's get right into the video. So this is my research gear. Um, three of these items are pay to play. As in, it, you know, being free to play, it'll take a long time to get them up. But um, the research gear does kind of lack in free to play gear, I guess, because there's three spots that don't have any free to play replacements. So that does kind of suck. Whereas construction has, you can get uh, free to play items for every slot. So for the helmet, the worm bone coronet, unless you're level 60 or at least that far into the game, um, don't even worry about it. it. It's a pretty heavy pay to play piece that you can't use until level 60 So it's pretty much not worth worrying about so um, Yeah, just don't worry about it the cavalry mail is what you want to do for your armor Terra shield is also a really expensive pay to play piece that also requires level 60 um, And it doesn't even give that much stats at all like for research So cavalry mail is what you want to go with. It's a nice free to play piece griffin walkers these are a pay to play item that I would recommend getting even at free to play. I would definitely try to get these. Um, they aren't super hard to get being free to play. It just takes longer than a, you know a normal free to play piece. But you can slowly get them and at any level they'll be good for both construction and research. So that's a super nice uh, quality of them. So definitely go for those. For the main hand you want to go with the electric lance if you can get it. It's also another low pay to play piece. But if not, don't worry about it. Obviously, the champion stuff you don't want to go for. It's way too expensive. Um, offhand, go for Vice Grips. Don't go for the Tomb of Saints. It's just the stats are right here. You get 3% more, and it all adds up over time. For accessories, definitely just go for the Lunar Flutes. If you can have one accessory, just make one. But I would, I would probably start working on two from the beginning because you at least want to get to Castle 17. For T3 and for um, the two accessory slots so I'd at least make two at the beginning and then obviously when you can have three accessories make a third one don't use a lost pocket watch there's just no reason to it's just less stats and that's it for the research gear um, yeah if you can make the pay to play pieces slowly over time go for it um, you might want to put the ultra rares into other stuff though it's just up to you so yeah, that's that's the best free to play research gear. So that's it for the video. If this helped you, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and also share this with your guildmates. If if you see somebody with, you know, the wrong research gear on or something, make sure to tell them and show them this video so that they can learn too.